Hello, <laughs> hello, and welcome to Podcast But Outside. It's the intro for episode 46 of our show. Well, this was a good... All right. Uh, Bluetooth is here in the intro for my, the listeners. My dog is here, and he is... Uh, goals. Yeah. So this episode is with our guest Rob Hubel, who has a TV show called Medical Police on yeah. Netflix. Yeah, he's the star of it. He's a star, Co- and, star. and he's so funny uh, on our show and both on Medical Police, so go check that out. It's a very funny show. I binged it in under a week. Which is the record. Mm-hmm. See if you can beat it. Uh-huh. Um, uh, stuff. Merch on We have our merch on our website. websites, pins and stickers. We got a Patreon. You can join and get bonus episodes. Actually... There's a bunch of stuff cut out of this episode because it was very long. Yeah, it's so, too long, so there's it's it's all... We're releasing all that extra stuff on Patreon today. Okay. Well, okay, the, moon, the... the music this week is by Moon Ara. Moon Ara! Well, Moon Ara, yeah. Anyways, okay. uh, she made music for us in the past, and she made it again this time. Uh-huh. So that's exciting for us. Uh, I'm doing stand-up in New York on March 31st and Philadelphia on March 30th, so if you want to buy tickets to those shows, go to my website, andrewmichon.com. That's about it. Yep. Check out the social media for Podcasts But Outside. We're on Twitter and Instagram. We haven't really plugged that in a long time, but we're always posting fun behind-the-scenes stuff. And we're trying to get to 10 million followers, so please help us on that journey. Yeah, we're very close. Very close. Okay, thank Thank you. you. guys. Hello. Hello. And what? welcome to Podcast, Podcast but, but Outside. outside. Uh, my name is Andrew Michon. My name is Cole Hirsch. And if you've never heard this podcast before or Sorry. watched it. Shh, a little too loud for me. Okay. If you've never heard or watched it, you can go in front. You can go in front, please. If you've never heard or watched this podcast before, the point of our show is for Cole and I to set up a table on the sidewalk and talk to strangers. We have a sign on our table that says, Hi, be a guest on our podcast and we will pay you $1. We are Smiley the Smiley face. We, we are the only ethical podcast. We're the only podcast that pays. Uh-huh. And today we're willing to pay anyone who will talk to us $1 to chat with us. Mm-hmm. Um, we are on Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena, a location we've been at once before. Although last time we were here, it was a weekday and it was quite dead. And now it's buzzing with activity. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are between a Zara and a Banana Republic. Um, our intern is filming this, and he's sitting in like a little kind of nook, a little doorway, so people cannot sneak behind him. They have to get into <laughs> the shot. And Cole is blindfolded. My yeah. co-host Cole is blindfolded. Why is that, Cole? Well, because my uh, I just need to keep my sight privilege in check again. The last time I did this, I was a little too sight privileged, uh, but now I'm, I'm once again feeling sight guilt, and I want to just experience the podcast as a listener because I'm so used to watching. Yeah, our show is uh, pretty evenly split, the fan base, between um, an equal number of people listen to this and an equal number of people watch this. So I feel like it should reflect the same with the hosts. Yeah, so one of us should also be uh, not be able to see uh, the show. So Cole, his eyes are blindfolded. He will be interacting with everyone like normal, but he can't see them. And that might be part of the fun. And um, I'm going to have to do all the seeing for the both of us. So it's kind of a lot of work for me. But the reason why we chose this place is because we have a friend who's, who's a friend of ours who's going to pop by later and he wanted to do it here he said oh how about sometime in Pasadena he said how about Pasadena and I said okay so Rob Hubel will show up later and it's um if the show is bad before that it's his fault so you have him to blame this guy looks handsome this is giving me a lot more anxiety than usual I mean it's also all on me to get guests and the level of hate I'm getting from all these people's eyes is quite because it kind of looks like you're (laughs) kidnapping me and forcing (laughs) me to be here (laughs) hey this guy's walking by for the 10th time I'm going to take it off. He's, well, he's walked by many times, right? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why has the slowest man alive? You can go by. You want to talk to us? No worries. Oh, shit. Why are you going to take it off? Why are you abandoning this plate so early on? Truly? Yeah. I'd rather see. <laughs> that shows you that you still have your sight privilege. You're going to have to work on that. Yeah. You I'm pr- just saying. I don't know. No. If you're listening only, <laughs> you're missing a lot. You're proving. Hey, you want to talk to us? No problem. You're proving more than... Um, you're proving more than you realize that you, you do have more sight privilege and you need to keep it in check. Yeah, what about you, mister? I don't care. 
Okay. Yep. Well, I'm th- it's coming off. No, 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 no. What? You can't do that. Why? You committed to this. I didn't commit. I you just started doing it. You signed the contract. You were, eyes were no closed. Contract. I had you sign some stuff. Hey, you want to talk to us? I don't no worries. That. Almost. Oh, this guy wants to talk to us. Hey, what's up? Can I sing my song I wrote for the city? Please yes, come sing, sing your the song, song you wrote, wrote for the city. city. <laughs> that we'd love that. Come sit down. Come sit down. Where, where, where? Right over there, my friend. I've seen you over there watching us. Okay. Is he sit? He sit. Okay, sir. Uh, just pick that up and tell us your name. My name is uh, my name is Jerome McQually. You need a song. I'm a songwriter. I'm the best songwriter in the world. And here's a song I wrote for uh, for Pasadena, city of Pasadena. Okay, cool. Oh. I'm excited to hear it. Do you need any you backing uh, track or anything? You're good. No, no, just just a cappella. A cappella. Okay. You're welcome to the city of Pasadena, the home of the Rose Bowl rain, the home of the Rose Bowl land. The people they live in peace all day. From L.A. Union Station on the Gold Line Metro train ride. Eight stops down the way to Fillmore, Del Mar, and more to Lake and have a beautiful day. You're welcome to the city of Pasadena, the home of the Rose Bowl raid. The home of the Rose Bowl and the people, they live in peace all day. And there is Old Town Pasadena on Colorado Boulevard. We central property ribbon and fair oaks right on down the block. You're welcome to the city of Pasadena, the home of the Rose Bowl raid, the home of the Rose Bowl land of people. They live in peace all day. From Caulfield on to Washington, all the way to El Dina. For the people and the people too, the people of the city of Pasadena. You're welcome to the city of Pasadena, the home of the Rose Bowl raid, the home of the Rose Bowl land of people. They live in peace all day. Thank you. Well, that's a song amazing. I wrote for these great CD of Pasadena. <laughs> that was Thank you. so good. That Listen, was so great. You want to talk to us more? Or is I, that it? I would like to say. I can answer some questions. That yes. was so great. Well, we loved that. I oh, loved it. it. That was so cool, man. How, have you got an opportunity to sing that song very much? No. I'm, I just recently wrote that song last year. Oh, last wow. year is pretty good. And, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of st- information in there. I like yeah, it. I, uh, and I'm not, uh, objectively, I could only hear it, and it was good. And Thank I, you. I feel like most people just tell you that because you're hot. I'm assuming, <laughs> or that you yeah, look no, good. Yeah, no, he looks good. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah, I, 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 only heard your voice, and yeah. you liked the song, and I loved it. That's awesome. Thank it's you. already in my head. It's I'm stuck. So, you know, well, I have to go knock. I got an appointment. You have to go. Uh, What's your yeah, appointment? I'm a panhandler, and I'm trying to make some money so I can eat. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> we'll give you well, here, we'll give you two dollars. We normally pay one dollar, but we'll oh, give you two dollars. Okay, thank you. And that was such a great song. So and I, um, I was panhandling right here, and I left when I came. You guys was here. <laughs> oh, we took your spot. No, no. no <laughs> okay. You didn't, you didn't take my spot. Do you want to sing one more song before you go? Hello, Colin Andrew here from the podcast. Quick interruption. Uh, so this man. Uh, Proceeded to sing four more songs for a total of five songs. Yes. Uh, he was at our table for about 20 to 25 minutes singing what sounded like the same song, just different the, lyrics. The tune was pretty similar every time. We loved him, but we just couldn't, inc- <laughs> we couldn't include them all. Yeah, it would have been a, too long of an episode. Uh, so we put the rest of the songs on Patreon. So you're going to hear three songs on Patreon if you go there and support us. Um, we're going to play his last song next, which is his fifth song that he sang for us. So if we seem a little bit agitated or over it, it's because it had been going on for quite a while. Okay, enjoy. <clears throat> Where are you living now? A song about your young lady I know. A, y- <laughs> a young lady you know. I, I guess we'll do one more song. Sure. One more song. One more. All right, let's hear one more song. One, one. one more about a girl. Okay. And, and then and then we're done singing. She's about we'll, a young lady I'm trying to help out. And then we'll talk to you, but no more from, singing. She's from Russia. <laughs> okay. She come from Russia now, living in America. She's just a beautiful it's a familiar girl. tune. Like see the world. Her name is Miss Elena. Elena. I took her to the beach on a Thanksgiving day. She was so beautiful in every way. She loves what the beach and the pier has to offer. And I was like a personal photographer. She come from Russia now, living in America. She's just a beautiful girl who loves to see the world. Her name is Miss Elena. Elena, why don't you laugh and smile like everybody else? Yeah, it's not so bad living here in the ghettos of America. Elena. And then we walk to Venus on down the way, walking in the rain. What can I say? That's what she wanted, and she we walk so far. And now, now I'm like a personal bodyguard. She come from Russia now, living in America. 
She's just a beautiful girl who loves to see the world. Her name is Miss Elena. Elena, why don't you laugh and smile like everybody else? Yeah, it's not so bad living here in the ghettos of America. Elena. She dreamed of America while living in Russia. Dreamed of the world as a little girl. Now she's, yes, she's like a movie star. And I'm like a bodyguard photographer and personal chauffeur. She comes from Russia now, living in America. She's just a beautiful girl who loves to see the world. Her name is Miss Elena. Elena, why don't you laugh and smile like everybody else? Yeah, it's not so bad living here in the ghettos of America. Elena. My name is Jerome McQuilley. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. You know, we'll give you a dollar per song. We'll give you five dollars. One dollar per song. Thank you for being a guest. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. Bye-bye. You be well. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Okay. This is the first musical episode of Podcast Put Outside. Um, the rest of the show uh, will be musical as well. So now I'd like to sing a song that I wrote <laughs> <laughs> about. Oh, hey. Oh, do you like our show? Oh, really? Oh, who oh, that? Come sit down. <laughs> oh, we got a... We got a guest. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Oh We'd love to talk to you. Do you have... Oh, here you go. Use this and and put this on. Oh, here you go. Oh my, why is he blindfolded? He's blindfolded just because he wanted to experience the show as a listener. Yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, my God. This is sick. This is sick, right? This is Hi, sick. Caroline. What are you guys' name names? Sammy. Sammy, what's Sammy. your name? Caroline. 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 How's Sammy. your guys' day yeah. going? Really Great. Good. Oh, really? I've loved him since... Me too. <laughs> oh, really? Who? Andrew? No, no. him. Oh. Cam? No. <laughs> Cole. Cole's blindfolded just because Cole. he wanted to just um, experience the show as a listener. So he's kind of checking his sight privilege a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. So he's just kind of Very listening. Cool. And what do we privilege. sound like? What do you think we look like? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like? Let's, let's describe them both. Describe her on like? the left. Describe her on the left. Yeah. On the left. Uh, let's see. Do I, I keep I talking? would say you smell oh. tall. Okay. okay. Interesting. Okay. Smell I like tall. that. I've never gotten Sammy. that before. I like yeah. that. What? Wait, yeah, you can take a picture, sure. I mean, this will be out on that, but yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna. I I think you. You sound about twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Twenty-two for sure. And you work in retail. Oh my <laughs> god. Wow. Okay. You work in tar tarot cards. <laughs> tarot cards. Okay. What? what about her on the right? What's her deal? Yeah. Hi, yeah. I'm Caroline. Caroline. Hey, Caroline. Uh, I think that you just love baking i do love baking okay and i think your eyes are big i do they're big, big, her big eyes. Her eyes are big it's true actually yeah, yeah. do you is what ethnicity do you, i am tall yeah. what ethnicity do you think i am Ooh. armenian oh no close enough <laughs> well i mean there close isn't enough. armenia kind of near asia or am I just... Th there's one Armenian near Asia, then there's another one that's not so close. Someone give <laughs> me a reassuring there's look. A, so there's a few <laughs> Armenians <laughs> out there. There's a few of them, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. So what are you guys doing today? Just shopping? Shopping your um, asses gonna off? We're going to go have some lunch. True mm. Food Kitchen? Yes, of course. We're probably going to go True there after this. Yeah. 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 So bomb. We like it there. So good. Will you save us a seat? Of course. Yes. Okay. Well, do you guys live in Pasadena? Near. Uh, yeah. Near. Yeah. Very close. Where do you... Okay. okay. Um... And you got your friends here. They're kind of yeah. just watching. They're cool. Okay, yeah. what's up, guys? Fans. How are you? They're super cool. I love it. <laughs> well, no, we appreciate you guys sitting down. The Wait, previous. How, so how'd you recognize me with my with my face covered? Well, that guy was like, "Is that the outside podcast?" And oh, I was like, cool. "I was like, you're a fucking liar." And then, oh my god, I'm sorry. No, you, you can swear. You can swear. Okay. <laughs> you, can also, you can also call him a liar. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, it, I was like, I will literally like sit down. Like, <laughs> yes, I will fucking sit down. Well, it's funny because you seemed so surprised when I was like, "Sit down." You were like, "Really?" I know. Like, I thought you had to like. We have zero criteria. Well, the first guest, the first guest set a standard. You do have to sing for fifteen minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> he did sing five songs, original wow. songs about LA geography. <laughs> it was kind of a ge geography lesson. It was really uh, pretty and nice. Like right yeah. before this, we were talking about those Danimal sweepstakes and yeah, like what's that? Danimal, like, like the drinkable yogurt. Yeah, if you will win. What's up with? 
then? Like they, no one wins. No one wins. It oh, just really? says many will enter, few will win. And then so we were like, that's just life. That. Life is honestly like many will enter, few will but win. But you, today you guys yeah, won. Yeah, but yeah. today we won. But we won. Today. You won. Yeah. And so I thought that's how you had to get on this podcast. Like no, it's tr- our, our barrier to entry is quite low. It is literally <laughs> anyone who will sit down. And oh earlier, no one else would. So we're happy oh. that you guys are here. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Well, the thing about Pasadena is everyone's rich and they're kind of stuck up, and we've been we looked at. We've been rich. looked down We're upon really? by a lot of people here. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. So Wait, it's such a bummer. So Let's you said you, you guys were fans of a Vine. Yeah. Yes. Are, you exci- are you excited about Bite? Oh what my is God. Bite? What is that? It just came out it yesterday. It came out yesterday. It's the what new Vine. It's Vine Two. You're it's lying. Vine two. No, six, serious. Six second looping videos. It's the same creator. They are you made. on it? Uh, I reserved my handle, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. Uh, okay. Well, I'm only going to be on it. Ooh, I like that. That's good. In solidarity. I like oh. that. Yeah. Sorry about it. You got a car parking. Sorry about what? Well. It's okay. Ooh, just a car parking. <laughs> Sorry about Is it going to hit me? Uh, it no. might hit you. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, All right. what else do you guys want to talk about? What, 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 what makes you guys tick? What makes um, me tick? Ooh. Bad Wait. drivers? There's a lot of bad drivers. Bad drivers make you tick? make you tick? They yeah. keep you going? It keeps you going? Oh, no. <laughs> it makes you tick is the opposite tick? of like what makes ticked you mad. Ticked off. Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. No, tick is like a good a thing. Yeah. Ticked off is like It's like what keeps Yeah, a take a phone call, but they have okay. to answer. You put it to the microphone. Yeah, yeah, put it to the microphone. You can tick a phone call. Um, hello, Swanee. Hi. Hi. You're on... Oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're on the, po- the You're podcast, on podcast but outside. Hi, Swanee. We're on a podcast right now, so hey, girl, what's up? You're on speaker. Everyone can hear you. You're going to be online. Bro, what the fuck? I just woke up. Oh, good morning. Good morning. It's 1237. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What? Okay. Um, what, what's up with Swanee? Swanee had a bad night. Really? What? What happened? No, actually, I had a bad night. She was just there. Why, why was your night bad? Can I say this online or am I going to get in trouble? You can say it. Well, we might get you in trouble, but you can say it. (laughs) Okay, I was like in a weed coma. Like I smoked way too much weed and I just like was paralyzed. What about Swanee? What'd she do? Swanee, what did you do? She was playing liquor BP. Have you heard of that? It's really dangerous. It's where you f- you you drive to a gas station, to a gas BP, station. and yeah. fill your car with liquor. Yeah. Yes. How did you know? Wow, that was really. Why good. is that dangerous? Because the car doesn't These operate. These microphones smell really good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Is there some? Okay. Kind of yes. Uh, we do. I literally refuse to drink beer. So I started playing yeah. shot pong. Shot pong. And that's I was actually called. really good. And I got really drunk, and then I left at like eleven. Huh, Swanee kind of going through it, huh? Yeah. Dude, Swanee is a trooper. Yeah, she is. (laughs) What? (laughs) Is she crying? Swanee sounds like she's in tears. I don't think so. Are you okay? What? Okay. Oh, it's her morning voice. Mm. Well, that's it's a kind really of strange to like go straight w- wake up. You have like no context <laughs> for anything. You just call your friend. She's and on just a podcast. You give that voice. Wow. All right, my dude. All right, I will Swanee. talk to you later. Sorry that you're on this podcast. Hey. <laughs> I want to you maybe fight you're welcome with her. Know. You fight with her? Like, really bad. It was all oh, my bye. fault. Okay, hang up on Swanee. Let's get the real scoop. What the hell is Swanee's problem? <laughs> I got nothing. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no it was fine. my fault. It's no, what? It's no, fine. like it's last fine. time I was with her, I got oh, so. Oh, you can walk. You can walk. Yeah. I got so, like, so so drunk, like, and I just started fighting with her, and like, for no reason, I literally woke up with no Carol. recollection. Oh. There was like chicken noodle soup all over my floor. Really? <laughs> and like blood all over my legs. Oh. Why? And then she was so mad at me, mm. and then I was like, Oh no. Well, this is the real me. Huh. Mm. Are you guys students or are you okay. working? or? Both. Yeah. Both? Kinda. Okay. What school? It smells like what? USC or something? <laughs> 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 no. PCC and GCC. Really. Uh, okay. Well, I, yeah, used I, did, I went to, I went to, G- I went to GNC. I went to school at GNC. <laughs> General Nutrition Center. Yeah, I did their, oh, I, did their, cool. I, did their okay. I did their, I did their like whole program. <laughs> did <laughs> yeah. you like it? Yeah, it's called uh, yeah. Whole Thirty, and um, <laughs> it's great. I learned like all about geography and academics and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Wait, wait, who? So one of you said you you read tarot cards? Yeah, on the left. No, not me. No, Caroline does. Oh, you read tarot cards? No, I she thought like I was joking. So I was like, oh, he reads tarot cards because he. Oh, because oh, like, he was able to tell. Yeah. I understand. Uh, I, I thought so. Oh, you didn't cool. guess my ethnicity. Um. I'm gonna say mega black. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is that <laughs> is that right. off? It's close enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Close yeah. enough. Yeah, it's close <laughs> enough. Yeah, I approve. 
Yeah, she look a mega black. Um, <laughs> okay, wait, I feel kind of bad. Our friends. Oh yeah, your friends. Like, okay, know, you know, we'll, we'll let you guys really get. Hungry. Are you guys, are you guys hungry? hungry? You guys hungry? Okay, we'll yeah. let you guys get your lunch. But it was a pleasure to talk to you both. Thanks for sitting thank down. Thank you. Uh, we yeah, will give you a dollar and a sticker. Us. Oh, oh, we don't yay. need a dollar, but no, I'll take we a have to pay a dollar. We yeah. have to Why? pay a dollar. Why? That's kind of. It's just uh, it's we're ethical. It's your thing? We're oh, ethical. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah. For sure, for sure. If you guys had <gasps> each sung five songs, you would each get five dollars, mm-hmm. but uh, oh, you wow. didn't. So there's wow. a sticker you and dollar. Ask us to. Here you go. Okay. Hand her these. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for sitting down. It was a pleasure to talk to you both. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. So nice to meet you. Enjoy lunch. Yeah. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Be well. I'll see you at the restaurant. See you at the restaurant. See you guys later. Bye bye. Yeah, I like those guests. But that's another classic example of these fake fans who are like, oh my God, it's you guys. I'm so excited to see you. And really, all they like is Cole's Vines because they <laughs> don't know anything about our show. They don't know that we pay our guests a dollar. They just don't actually love me or us. They just like you in six second chunks. Yeah, I th- I felt like they were overwhelmed. Fake fans, overwhelmed y'all. by second seven of me. <laughs> they were like, I was just expecting you to loop. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, there's some kids here. Don't don't scare them. Hey, what's up, guys? Boo! <laughs> Did I get them? <laughs> you definitely scared them. <laughs> that was not cool. <laughs> Their dad is pissed. <laughs> I said, don't scare them. Well, what kind of kids are you talking about? <laughs> like, small ones. Oh, I thought you meant like teens. No, they were like six. <laughs> hey, you can go past. You want to talk to us? Don't stop it. She's al- you. Al- she was almost okay. You're you're banned from tapping the table. Hold my hand. <laughs> That'll stop you from tapping the table. Well, now I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> I'm not sick. You, after you're touching the microphone, you are now. <laughs> I'm not sick. God, these cars are coming really close to hitting you every time. Hey, sir. Oh, and they're coming back. You guys aren't even going to True Food Kitchen? Jesus Christ. What happened? Uh, 15, 20 minute wait. Oh, 15-20 minute wait. You can talk for a second, yeah. As long as, do you have something interesting to say? Do you have something interesting to say? Um, I guess, you know, I think we can spark up a conversation. Let's hear it. Find the Let's find the it. Golden shit, as they say. Let's you know? find golden it. shit. Golden, golden shit. shit. What's the gold in the shit. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ethan. Yeah, Ethan here. He's friends of the previous guests. Yeah. Uh, what's up with your life, Ethan? Um, well, right now I'm uh, at a community college, you know, just vibing out. PCC? Yeah. I yeah. heard about it. Yeah, it's, you know. I sure. listen to KPCC. Oh, I do as well. I have a friend. Do you know, uh, shit, Rizdal? No, um, do you? No, Rizzo? No, no, no Rizdal. No, his, uh, I don't know his first name, but I have a friend whose dad is like top dog at KPCC. Oh, top dog? Is he on air or just behind the scenes? No, he's, uh, he's on air. I can't remember his first name, but Riz- his last name is Rizdal, you know. Oh, he's I don't know, recognize the name. Sounds He's like a lie. Kai Rizdal. Kai Rizdal. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. See, He's I'm there all liar. the time. I would never lie. He's there all the know? time. Yeah. I list, my car is permanently tuned to KPCC. It is broken. And um, no, it's not broken. No, but right. I listen to it all the time. And yeah, it's a good show. No, it really good, is. Good channel. It's just a, it's a, and it's the NPR, local NPR station here in Los Angeles for those mm. who aren't in the know. All right. So you're at KPCC. What do you want to do with your life? Um, well, right now I'm kind of between, like, I like to draw, you uh-huh. know. Uh-huh. Um, did, but you draw, did you draw your shirt? No, I did not. Okay. I, I wish, but okay. uh, it's a pretty easy drawing. Yeah, I, I don't know yeah, no, wish that's that. not very what is impressive. It? It's, it's just like a, little, a piece of crap. It's a shit piece oh, of what? shit. Like, <laughs> it, like you know, the shit <laughs> yeah. emoji, but yeah, just worse. it's like crap. <laughs> Why is he blindfolded? By the, is it just? Well, he's bl- he's blindfolded. Are you serious? Am I? <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, I feel like an asshole. No, <laughs> he um he was wanting to experience our show as a as a listener because he mm. has some sight guilt. Ah, okay. Yeah. What do you do for fun? Um, I, I draw, I hike, uh, I work out, you know, I just like, are, you th- are these, are these your girlfriend? Uh, no, okay. no just all friends, you know, okay. but, um, do you wish one of them was your girlfriend? <laughs> I wish I, any of them, honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'd be happy with any of them. That's kind of they're, they're all super cute. You yeah, know? yeah. Do you yeah. think they would date you? I don't know. I think I'm a pretty stand up guy. Sure. You know? yeah. I think, you know, got to have a little self confidence. Right. Sure. But you're stuck in that friend zone with those three, huh? Well, you know, I mean, we. The we friend zone doesn't exist, Andrew. Yeah. Dude, yeah. if you want, you could beat the shit out of both of us and kind of impress them. Yeah. We'll take it. <laughs> really? Yeah, so we'll yeah. take it right Dude, now. Dude, I'm begging you. Dude, I'm like, begging you. Clock me. Just hit me just in the fucking nuts, the dude. I think maybe after the show. Well, like behind the. Dude, it's got to be on air. You gotta beat the shit out of both of us. Yeah. Then you gotta spend. Just take him no, no, out. Just listen, fuck him out. Look, I got a perfect plan for him. Okay. You beat the shit out of both of us. You spend a few days in jail downtown. You write an incredible song See, about it. See, I don't it. think I should not. <laughs> <laughs> and then you sing that song on our show later. Yeah. They're gonna oh. freaking flip their gourds over you. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I could survive jail. You know, I think I'm just too small and. How petite. tall are you? 
I'm like 5'10 mm. on a good day. <laughs> like, mm. yeah. But, you know. Yeah, we got similar frames, but I'm just taller. Yeah. I think I'm, st- I think I'm stronger than you, though, frankly. You want to arm wrestle? That's a little content, right? Mm. Come on. Come on. You guys have to. I uh, surfed a lot yesterday. I'll be the judge of the winner. No, no. Okay. I surfed yeah. a lot yesterday. My arms are weak right now. Your arms are always weak, though. <laughs> no, dude. Look. <laughs> look, I mean, so look, I, f- worked, I worked out yesterday, so I did buys. So we're, I think we're on the same. You're by? I am. I, I could, I, you know, I mean, 2020, I don't want right. to say I'm not by it. Right, you know? right, right. That's, you'll get canceled yeah, you for get saying you're yeah. not by it. This day and age, if you come out as not by, you are a <laughs> fucking enemy of the people, number one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy is not by. <laughs> get him out of here. Uh, Go back to the freaking bro zone. Have you guys had a lot of trouble with that? Like the whole PC culture, especially like. Out here, California, podcast outside. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of trouble like keeping in our slurs. Keeping and in stuff. our slurs, of yeah. course, yeah. It, that's it, a sometimes you speak and with. it's just a slur is on the tip of your tongue, and then mm-hmm. you just let it loose. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, not really. I mean, we've had like a couple of conversations where folks, who I think were well-meaning people, just said a couple things that were maybe not even representative of their views, and so we cut right. a little bit of things. Just some stuff oh. that was just like, oh, this is racially, I don't really want to go insensitive, there. Yeah, yeah well, like at, it, our, at our live show, we had, <laughs> we had a Craigslist person, we invited a Craigslist person on stage because he sent us a video of him dancing, so we're like, okay, let's bring him yeah. on stage and meet him for the first time. We had a great interview with him, he was amazing. Mm-hmm. And then we asked him, we're like, we, do you want to dance for us? He's like, yeah, but not to like the Indian music I was dancing before. Like what kind of music? He, he's this like 50, he's the middle aged Indian man. Okay, and yeah. okay. We said, what kind of music? And he goes, oh, like black, black people, people music. <laughs> black, whoa, it was there very you go. funny. There you go. Okay, we're going to pay you a dollar and a All sticker because right. our guest is here. Right. But thank it you so much for sitting yeah, down and talking to us. Talking yeah, you thank as well. You so yeah, yeah, take care. Nice to see you. Hey. Bye bye. Bye bye. Give it up for the very wonderful Rob Hubel. Rob Hubel. Hey, Rob, how are you? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on the show. Good to have you, my friend. Thanks for being nice on the show. Nice to be here. This is my friend Cole. This is Rob. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good, man. Great. Cole is blindfolded. You don't um, have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tell me. So our podcast is um, a mix of listeners and viewers. We have about an equal amount of both. Mm-hmm. And so he's just trying to experience the show as a listener. Yeah, I've been feeling a little sight guilt, sight privilege. Yeah, so he's trying to kind of keep that in check. This looks like a protest. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought that this was maybe like some sort, of, some sort of thing where... <laughs> People are you guys are getting upset at the oh, stores. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're mad at we're mad at Zara for having a sale and Banana Republic for not having a sale. Yeah. It's like you gotta be they gotta coordinate. And you there's know? an Apple store near here. I oh thought, yeah, I thought maybe you were protesting that. Uh, no, we love Apple. We use their products. Oh yeah. Boy. yeah, big fan of Apple. Big why fan of the you, practices. Why don't you suck their dicks? Well, we t- well, I gotta say, Rob, to I texted you. I saw that text turn blue, my friend. <laughs> 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 I know you're part of the army. <laughs> I am part of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Part yeah. of the family. Yeah. Rob? Yeah. I'm a big fan of Medical Police. Oh, thanks, man. I watched all of it in like under a week. Is that true? Yeah. That means like almost an episode per night. Yeah. A I little more it, than that. A little if more. You really break it down. No, it was. I, there's I, 10. I, I did uh, two back to back. Wow. Night. Yeah. Man, I really appreciate that. We yeah. get, uh, so we I've get wa- paid per view. <laughs> <laughs> so Pay per view. Yes. Yeah. Is, is, is that a term? Yeah, for, for it is. It's a contract style. Oh, I didn't even no, know. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I, I watch... Um, so I've watched less than Cole has. Oh, boy. But I did watch three total in one night. That's so I'm kind nice. of like less a fan and more of... You know yeah, what I mean? You're a, you're a hardcore binger, yes, but yes. then you need to take a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I watched three episodes like a week ago. I loved it. It was really great. I'm excited Thank to finish you. it. Well, that's really uh, cool of you guys. Yeah, we found out that... They are, they, I mean, the show just started like a a couple weeks ago, but like they, it seems to be doing great. Like it's like getting everywhere, but Netflix, I guess really is, it's important that people finish it. Oh, Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know about that. I wish you told us that before, you know, like, right. But they're like, yep, it's, we want people to fucking finish every episode. Like, Um, I don't know about every episode, but like they, you know, I don't know how they gauge stuff over there. Yeah, they're very secretive about their numbers. Yeah, they're they're they ha- you know, and they also have like uh, what's called an algorithm. Do you know what that is? Um, I've tell heard us. of that. It's a computer term. Oh. Um, you know, yeah. They, so they are promoting it, um, obviously, to um, people that they think would be fans of it. Right, right? So on their on their uh, yeah. App. So if you yeah. watch well, some sort well, of well, for me, it was like the big. First yeah, it was a big thing, thing for me too. Well, you guys are comedy people. Got, That's yeah. why. But yeah. if you're like you know a very serious person that just watches documentaries about you know. 
uh, the dying oceans or something, it <laughs> might not have popped up. Mm. Right. So, um, so hopefully people that, um, you know, not just comedy weirdos sure. will, right. will find it, yeah. but it is, uh, it's been super fun to be on something. Cause I, I have, I would say that I have done a lot of things that, uh, people don't see, you mm. know, mm-hmm. like, um, or, or just sort of like smaller, weirder sure. things sometimes. Sure. So it's been really fun for me to be on something that, Oh wow. People. Yeah. Are I mean the cool. Netflix yeah. thing really just, just such a big difference. Yeah. Like it's it really, really weird. Yeah. It, it, like it just makes it so much easier to be like, Hey, everyone in the world can watch this. And you, you can know watch I mean? it whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. like I, I've talked yeah. to friends who have shows on Comedy Central, and then they ended up doing something on Netflix, and they're just like, the difference is so big in it's terms of just so like people big. have access to the show. Yeah, it's so big, and the, uh, you know, obviously the we're not uh, telling people they don't is anything they don't already know, but like obviously when you can watch it on your schedule is totally pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So for the, everyone out there, check out Medical Police. It is very very funny. Thanks. Yeah. If you like Children's right. Hospital or any sort of absurd comedy. It's not only in the same realm, it's in the same universe. It is mm-hmm. the same universe. Yeah, yeah. The funniest thing is like uh, I would say that most people, and we don't have to talk about the show very much. Right. But uh, I want to. The you have 20 m- more words on the show. Most people that wa- the response has been overwhelmingly positive. People are like really getting into it. But I've seen some negative shows. There are. Yeah, there are. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. Kidding. I'm I love reading the negative reviews oh, about I it. Too. I looked up I the negative too. reviews. It's people who just don't get it. I they think it. it's they're like the acting is so bad. It's I like really seek it out. Over the top. I, I've started yeah. to seek it out because. Can I talk to <laughs> He's got a anything bring your baby look at this baby okay i want to talk about the by. show more no, okay I no worries talk to this baby no oh, worries no, I guess if you not. want to we'll be here for the next 10 minutes i think people think you're a doctor because you're wearing <laughs> a white coat i'll take it off i'll take it off when or i thought you were a scientologist like i thought <laughs> and i don't even know if scientologists wear white but uh um, no, you can walk by please or you can talk to us whenever you want <laughs> we've got one mic left for the four of you no thank you um everyone is so intimidated oh yeah yeah um, I can't help but look at everyone's butt, like yeah. when people, because we're right at butt level. We Cole, I guess you can't enjoy this, but like he's yeah. imagining. I it usually though. do. Yeah, that's, that's why that's he's. That's why I'm so this. distracted usually. Because yeah. yeah, the table's like so popping up usually from his boner and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well, so. maybe you should change the name of the podcast to <laughs> Butt Talk. <laughs> butt Talk. <laughs> I like that. Oh, um, so what were you talking? about? Oh, just that it's it is fun for me the to negatives. read the negative ones because it's it is a very specific tone. You know, the yeah. show is a very mm-hmm. like yeah. absurd. Um, you know, and, and some of the jokes are so dumb and yeah. so silly. Um, and so some people are just like offended. Yeah. You know, they're like, this is, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they get mad at Netflix. People are wow. like, whoever, ex- whatever mm-hmm. executive, I guess you'll just spend money on anything. <laughs> you <laughs> asshole. And I'm like, right. Or and the other one is like, uh, that I love there. One person wrote, um, do I have to like this to keep watching it <laughs> <laughs> which would mean like they'd watch like all 10 of them and they're like i hate it <laughs> and i'm like uh, what okay well thank you for watching 10 <laughs> episodes I of like it that. so that sort of stuff is funny but yeah most people though get it and yeah they're, they're smart you know now well, we got a review on this show once on apple podcast that was like we do kind of a lot of absurd stuff on the show and you know we're both kind of irreverent comedically and it was like they were like i was a big fan of this show but then one of the guests said that he wouldn't believe in God unless God was a guy or oh, something like I, me. I said something about like, yeah. I'll only believe in God if God's a dude. I don't want to like, of get, I don't want to get on my knees for some chick. It was like, a, it was <laughs> yeah. a joke, you know, yeah. but it was just so funny to me that like someone could have been a fan that, of our show for yeah. a million, you know, 20 episodes and offended by and then that. one by thing that. and be like, how can you like our show and not understand the comedy that yeah. we were doing the whole time? It's yeah. just, sometimes that happens where you're like, what it's, were you thinking was good before that? Yeah. It's so weird. I, I saw, uh, you know, Henry Winkler is in the children's hospital uh-huh. universe and um, he is in the beginning and in the end of medical police. And, um, you know, but he does a lot of different projects right. and, you know, has books and does Barry on HBO. Yeah. But someone wrote, <laughs> someone tweeted at him like, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I'm so offended. I guess they were offended by something on medical police. And so they were telling Henry, like, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you know, I was like, he's been performing for, <laughs> yeah. he, like, you've been a fan of his for <laughs> yeah. for decades, and now you're going to turn yeah. on because of, you know, because That's of our little show. Funny. So pretty yeah. funny. That's so you great. tanked his career. We took him out. That's yeah, good. We, we took <laughs> him to kind of took out the wink. down yeah. a notch. Leave a so what's up with your life? How's everything with you? Uh, I live out here cool. uh, in, in this town. Pasadena. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. We moved out here like a year ago. And uh, I really like it because I like the scorn of rich people. Oh yeah, you like yeah. that. Yeah. I like I like it. I like it when they honk like their that? horn at me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 
they set up their car alarm. It's a good part of it. <laughs> if yeah. people didn't think you were outside, they know you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now. We definitely put in a lot of post-production to make it seem like we are. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I like it out here. Uh, you know, it's far enough away from Hollywood to feel like a different Yeah, place. it really is. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, they're, like, I don't really come over here very much because this is sort of like the fancy part. Mm. We're not fancy people. So we. Yeah. I, there's, like, a little less, you know, South Pasadena. Is yeah. Is what neighborhood would you identify with the most? Hmm. Of LA. In LA? Yeah. Um, the Hollywood sign. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like I used to live on top of. Oh, the really? Oh, sign. Which yeah, letter? So. Which letter? I lived in the O. Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> in the middle of the O. <laughs> That's good. And uh, yeah, so I identify. Wait, heavily. which O, by the way? There are three. Uh, the middle oh, one. Oh, the middle one. <laughs> the good one. The good <laughs> the one. one. Not good the weird one. one. Okay, right. cool. Um, yeah, so I liked living on the Hollywood sign. No, we, uh, I used to live in Silver Lake, which is, uh, uh, that was a nice area, mm-hmm. but then we had a baby, so we had to move out here where it's safe and there's no, you know, no one's gonna, what's the that? Hell? This guy, there's I a heard guy, classic. there's was a guy, there, did someone classic. run up to us? Yeah, there's I a guy heard, that like, was about footsteps. to, oh, I forgot that you can't see. Yeah, there was a jogger <laughs> that didn't want to walk by. past the podcast. It's a very classic thing that people do not want to walk past the camera. Why don't people want to walk past the I don't know. If, if Honestly, if he was six inches further from the wall, they would walk behind him. Like, people yes. scoot up. It's really funny. What a weird thing. I don't know if it's a combination of, it's it's a combination, I think, of niceness and, and shyness. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. either one of those. They yeah. work together. So you oh, were in they, Silver Lake. Yeah, So we. Li- but now we live out here, and uh, I thought it was going to be like, safer and w- but there's already been like break-ins on our street oh no and the, but that's fine I mean, Andrew. I, th- I think that's just <laughs> the, way, the way it goes are you on next door in la just no but my, my, my wife's on like citizen the, the one yeah the one that's oh, the even scary more one. court yeah it's like <laughs> yeah. all racist people and <laughs> yeah. they're like hey there's a you know there's a brown person uh <laughs> driving near your house <laughs> yeah go I, outside like i don't know if this is worse too but the car is also brown just <laughs> fyi <laughs> be aware yeah. you know and then the other thing uh we uh saw a bobcat in our uh like right uh, the director uh, in or our or? yard <laughs> yes oh. bobcat gold <laughs> okay. Was in our yard. That is a bad neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, no, we saw a real live bobcat. That's in crazy. Our neighborhood recently. So, um, and you know, we have a three-year-old. So, yeah, it would be a toss-up. You know, if they got into a fight, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyone, anything could happen. Anything could happen. And you know, I don't want uh, wildlife to abduct my child. Yeah, it's a it, real fear. W- whether it's a bobcat or anything like an eagle. Yeah, you know. but if you had a choice, uh, which uh, animal? Hmm, That's true. I would say like a boa constrictor. Oh, okay. Right. Just because I. You could. You could still keep an eye on you her. You could keep an eye. <laughs> yeah. you could keep yeah. an eye on her. And I feel like I could, I could probably get her you out. You could get her you out. Know. Yeah. You know. But hopefully that won't happen. Yeah. You know. I think people who don't live in Los Angeles don't assume that there's any nature here. But there's coyotes. There's, there's so much nature. There's a lot of oh, stuff that so much gets nature. into the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's yeah. coyotes for sure. We have raccoons. Mm. Uh, we, we got a raccoon problem. Oh. Uh, in our yard, we have a little. Um, the people we bought the house from, they have a little, like, fountain. Like, one of those, you know... Do you know what a fountain is? Yeah. No. It sounds like, like uh, you have a fountain. And you're embarrassed to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to make it <laughs> seem like... The people we like bought the house from <laughs> have a fountain. Look how I couched that. I did definitely <laughs> remove yourself we're not, quite a lot. We're not fountain people. You're like, look, my wife bought a house. <laughs> the people who lived before there had a fountain. Okay, we have a fountain. <laughs> Got it. We're fountain owners. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there are these raccoons that take a bath in the fountain at sure, night. Sure, and sure. They, and then they get into fights with each other. That's crazy. And they make crazy noises. Like, make a noise that you think a raccoon <laughs> sounds like, Cole. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that yeah. is exactly wow. what it sounds like in our yard at night. Okay. Oh. Huh. Uh, you are really dialed in on the audio uh, side of things I can <laughs> tell. True. and it's I don't me? even know you yeah but I can tell from what you just did that that is like it's, yeah. it's bringing out your senses That's oh good, thank yeah. you so much yeah. yeah you do you feel you, more uh, attuned to uh, yeah, sound I, f- I feel less distracted for sure um, he checks out a lot with I check show. out a lot there's it's so overstimulating to me that I sometimes get lost in my own thoughts but now I'm just forced to only listen to your voices. Yeah. Do you, what now? What do you do if someone comes up and wants to talk to you? Like right now? Yeah. We would talk to them. Oh, you do. Okay. We, we we can. We'll, we'll after we get through with you. We'd like to talk to someone with you if if well, someone. Sounds like you're just trying on. to power through me. No, to no, get no, to not at all. Street people. I just think sometimes. By the way, I said street you people. <laughs> <laughs> And you, and, and you have a fountain. Don't forget. About that. <laughs> yeah, I do, don't I, forget. I already sound. Like is it in the front or back? 
It's in the back. It's okay. hidden in the back. Hidden? Yeah, in front of my house, I have a fountain. Yeah. What Look, kind of person? He doesn't want street people getting in the Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I want street actually. people taking baths in my fountain. It's hidden, huh? So the yard's big enough that you can hide a fountain <laughs> back there. <or> what? <laughs> we got big shrubs. <laughs> big shrubs. We have big shrubbery. Do you have uh, friends that live close to you and stuff? Some other parents and stuff, Pasadena? Um, I didn't know about it until I moved down here, but yeah, I've, I'm starting to see some people that I know out cool. here. And, and every now and then I'll be walking around and someone will honk their horn and mm. but you know the uh, it's uh it's there's a lot of white people out here there's sure. too many white people mm. Mm. Yeah. so we could need if you're, if anyone's listening to this that are do you have a lot of non-white listeners i don't know i hope so how do we find out uh i think you just ask okay i think if you just uh, if you're not white let us know yeah honk your horn uh, honk your horn um or so we say it, something offensive and see how many people get mad that's, about what that's we a do. great yeah. idea well, actually that's, that's not true because white, white people get offended more than anyone else <laughs> that's <laughs> so that's not a good judge but um yeah i think i was just going to say if there are non-white people that listen to this that I would encourage you to move to Pasadena. We need okay. the diversity. We mm-hmm. gotta, Great. we gotta mix it up. You yeah. have some whites you're gonna kick out. Um, well, we live. We found out um, th- uh, again. I, now I sound like I'm uh, more of a fountain person. <laughs> <laughs> we we live on the same street as David Lee Roth from the band. Uh, you guys are younger than most people that I know. There was a band. There used to be a band called Van Halen. Uh-huh. I don't know mm-hmm. if you know what uh-huh. that is. We know it. And uh, their front man is named David Lee Roth, and and, and Van Halen is from Pasadena. And oh. anyway, he lives on our that. street, but he oh. lives in a big, nice fountain. Ha- fountain, and we live in like the little crappy. We live on the wrong side of the street. Mm. He lives. Are, in are the you fence. friends with him though? Are you uh, seeing around? Well, I go over to borrow uh, pyrotechnic. Equipment. Oh you know, yeah, if that's I, good. If, I'm if you're a, doing like a one-off show. Yeah, if I'm if I'm just doing a comedy show and I need some, <laughs> uh, if I got to like blow the stage up, that's I know smart. I know that they're gonna have some stuff uh, at the at the Lee Roth house. That's smart. Mm. No, I haven't. I don't know him at all. Do you know him? No, not uh, yet. <laughs> one day. You think you might get to know him? I'm gonna get there. Uh, oh, that's a, such a pretty uh, uh, service dog walked mm-hmm. by is walking by and he's very pretty. Um, I'd say sexy, but. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. V has got huge testicles. <laughs> Look at the balls on that dog. It's a shame that he's working. working well, we don't know what he does when he's off the clock, though. <laughs> he's probably <laughs> having get, some fun. Get to know that dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, has there been, um, just because I didn't have time to listen to all of the <laughs> shows, <laughs> but I am. There's only 42 episodes. I <laughs> am fascinated um, by by the show. Yeah. Has there been any um, conflict? Like, do people ever come up and start? Yeah. Someone you know, threatened to punch me once. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was like early on episode. It was cold, though. It was oh. cold. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. So it was kind of, no, it was early on. Yeah, it was just this guy was clearly, you know, off. Yeah, and um, yeah. having a bad day, and he, he was he talking thought, to he us. Thought we were making fun of him. He was talking to us, and we were talking back to him. And he's like, "Oh, you guys are making fun of me." It was we're really like, oh. odd. Yeah. And then he immediately walked away and started screaming at cars. So oh, I well, mean, obviously yeah. it was on him. But yeah. besides that, I mean, we've talked to lots of folks who are from very different backgrounds. We talked to a lot of homeless people, and I think people just appreciate having a place to talk. Do you, I used to do? Um, I used to work on a show years and years ago in New York. Uh, that was on like a, a a cable channel, but it wasn't a, a national. It was like mm. a re, it was like a New York only cable channel. It was a man on the street thing, right? You told yep. me about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we would ride. It was called su- the show was called Subway Q and A, and we would ride we would ride the subway. They had like five of us that would do it, and I wasn't even on camera. It was just my hand, oh. Oh. and I would just go out and ask people. You know, like. F- uh, in one day I would ask the same like five or six questions, but I would always try to make them very personal Mm. and people would always answer. It was really fascinating. But like I would ask people, tell me the story of how you lost your virginity. Right. Like on the fucking subway. Sure. And people would be like, well, you know, I met this guy and, you know, and they would tell me, you know, very like intimate stuff. And I would say like, how much money did you make? last year after taxes <laughs> yeah. you know, and like people wouldn't flinch they That's were just funny like, yeah it was really like <coughs> excuse me That's it was just funny. like psychologically so interesting that in new york is also just i think they're it's so crowded and it's you are so anonymous that sure sure people would really open up so yeah hopefully you'll get some of that too yeah yeah i hope so <laughs> we, should, we should ask leading Jesus questions Christ. like that at my stand-up show which is he does a show every Wednesday at the UCB Theater called Facebook, which is an incredible improv show, and I do a show right before that every week. Yeah, and um, your we show is your show is very 
prepared. Like, oh. a, like, well, in a great way. Like, I, I we are when I go on stage after you, I always see the running order from your show. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like fully planned out, and like I, I have such respect for that because oh, I feel like so much of what I do is just winging it. Just yeah, totally we just you know we just have it in order. It's not so hard. <laughs> just tell people when easy, they're gonna go you know? on stage. But we just I, I do this. We do my host and I co-host and I do this thing every 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 intro where we try to figure out who makes the most money in the audience. Like, yeah. who has the biggest income? No yeah. one has ever asked. No one has ever answered, <laughs> I mean. But it's always a very funny leading question to just yeah. be like, who in here thinks they make the most? What is it, 350, 300? Like, yeah. what, who's the richest? <laughs> yeah. It's a very funny. Do yeah. you want to talk to us for a second? Just talk for Your a couple minutes. Just talk for YouTube? We are going to be on YouTube. Yeah. They gave us an account. It's incredible. We're yeah. actually, this Great. is a celebration. They're letting us upload. Hi. They're letting Hi. us upload. How are you? You are... He's Rob. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm Rob. Pubel. What's your name? Straight. 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 Put your headphones, Put your headphones on, on and, and pop that into your I'm mouth. I'm over here like, Welcome to the show. Doing? like a can you imagine who I am type shit? Oh, for me? This oh, is I'm just, oh, yeah, he can't see I you. I just like hearing your voice. Stray's got a really cool vibe, though, I got to say. Thank he you. He is just trying to do the show without any Oh, visual, yeah, you can walk by. Yeah. Visual Thank you. Aid. I'm over here like, excuse me. Oh, yeah. There's a Flashlight Welcome to the cop. show, Stray. <laughs> um, how are you? I am pretty fucking awesome. I was at True... Food, food kitchen uh, getting litty like a kitty and Whoa. here we are just sashaying across your table now so what did cool. you what did you have at true food okay um look, can, can you grab the microphone i feel bad i'm like can i oh i'm sorry i'm it's over okay. here like thinking i'm on bob or walter almost getting shot. um what did i have oh yeah i i was good today i had a kale salad with salmon nice. well done mm. Mm. nice and everything there is very healthy right I would think so. Yeah. You got a lot of gold on. I like this. Thank you. You got gold glasses, gold nose ring, gold earrings, gold I ring, and then nice. gold watch. I appreciate you even noticing. Thank you. I mean, it's so hard not to. It's, it's very shiny. intentional, so thank you. It would be, be weird if it was an accident. Honestly. <laughs> I didn't realize how much gold I was <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? What's going on? You got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. The sun is shining. You might as well put on gold, right? And Shay, what's your story? Like, what do you do? What do you do for fun? What do you do for a job? Uh, so, really funny. Uh, I moved here like what eight months ago from New York. Look at this dog and a fucking <laughs> dog and a baby. Story. I mean, are we in fucking LA or not? Like, yeah, no, I'm, we're in Pasadena. Um, you're right. We <laughs> are in Pasadena. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a whole ass <last> opposite <laughs> continent. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so you came I, from New York. Yeah, I come from New York. Basically, long story short, stylist, and I do some job to you know make that money and yeah, yeah. doesn't matter but styling is my is my jam that's I your love passion okay. yeah. menswear styling well, nice. I, from what they tell me you're very stylish ah. so. she's very stylish i hope i'm really not like i, to I totally just kind of like i hope i'm not ruining your show not at all no, no you're, you're making part it. of it you're i'm not it. even on the no. show <laughs> he's just a, he's a guest he's a guest i'm a guest i'm like tell me to leave when you're ready because no you're you're a shining oh light oh my god you're back i'm embarrassed oh. i have I'm the one hey. now with the. Anyways, her friend is here. This oh, okay. is my friend. So. Have you styled anyone that we would know their name? Well, the thing about clients, you know. Oh. What is it? The HIPAA. The HIPAA privacy. Just like a doctor. <laughs> yeah, you are a doctor. <laughs> I'm a whole ass doctor to your style. Yeah, That's what we're giving. You can't talk about the people you're styling. So do you I style for private events or just for like their day to day? Uh, I am. I'm open to it all. So huh. personal styling, wardrobe. I just feel like with in LA, a lot of people are about the personal. Mm -hmm. So I have mm -hmm. someone who's exciting, and they're going to an Oscar event. It's like one oh. of my. Is it Oscar? It's an Oscar event. Oh, so no, I meant. Uh, either Oscar. way, yeah. you know, stray Oscar hmm. in one sentence. That's cute. So. Cool. That is cute. <laughs> so in the in that in that <laughs> job, mm -hmm. you're in, in a perfect world. You would like to style for like a couple of like super famous like rich people. Uh, hell yeah! And just be their personal right. stylist. Yes, that's the goal. Absolutely. Right. I mean. It is the goal. It might be the goal because, you know, that HIPAA privacy law. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, How do you right. feel about the fashion of the members of Van Halen? Because we do have an in we might have to a David Lee Roth. We <laughs> might have a connection to Van Halen. Honestly, anyone who wants to look good and feel great. Okay. Right. You would work it with David. It doesn't matter what you look like. Okay. It's wow. about me finding something that makes you feel great. Wow. Hmm. And is Pasadena a place where you would think about shopping or is this kind of yeah. like... Oh, so really? 
Actually, my friend is probably hating me right now. So we're heading down to Second Street. Okay. Mm. So if you don't know about it right now, I don't. I hate that I'm putting it on blast. It's okay. But this is one of my private little secret gyms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My favorite place. Specifically. My favorite place is right next door, Tesla. Tesla. So if you're looking for any hey. stuff there, yeah, Andrew's always yeah. in there. Tesla sell so clothes. Always, <laughs> always buying. They got some really cool stuff. Tesla has urban wear. Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> they got some really cool stuff in there. What the hell? You you don't even have to drive your car and you can wear their apparel. Isn't I love great. it. But on Second Street, they have good stores over there. So here's the thing. So Second yeah, is Street that? is uh, it's a uh, you know second store consignment, but it it has designer wear. It's all hand picked. It's very if you're into brands and you want to get it on the low low. It's mm-hmm. like a curated uh, right. secondhand store. But it's store. seriously this. It's nice. There's multiple locations, but that's the one. That's, so that's the one. I don't want her to hate me. I okay. Well, yeah. Well, he can let you get going because I love her. But thank it, you guys for letting me crash yeah, it and real rash quick. It. Do you have any yeah. fashion tips for me personally? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Good, good well, question. I'm curious why I can't see you. you she can't question. see me. No. She I can't can see you. You can't see me. I feel like there's a wall here. Is it nighttime? What time is it? He's it just. Is, wow. It is nighttime. Yeah. I think it is might it? be. I'm He's joking. Imagine that. Like you didn't even know. I'm over here. <laughs> you blowing my mind over here. Wow. I just. I didn't know if you guys were doing like a whole situation where you were like. He's just trying to experience the podcast oh, yeah, as, as a listener. listener. That's I all. fucking yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah. Do you I, it threw me I'm off like, too. It threw me off. Think, I think it's a throw off. What do you think that I sound like with this voice? I like your voice. What am I serving? Am I serving? I'll leave after this, but I'm just curious. Yeah, cause, describe cause her to I us. I actually get paid for my voice. Ooh, mm. great. And I, mm, people don't expect this. Just yeah, describe me. her. Oh, man. I would well, say, she's, yeah. I don't know. The raspiness of it. Yeah. It reminds me of a little Ooh. bit of a ScarJo situation. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Um, Damn. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. Stray, what do you mean you get paid for your voice? So, <laughs> you do it's ASMR? Ooh. Imagine I'm like I'm eating hey the watermelon. This is a banana. <laughs> Honestly, I want to do voiceover acting hardcore. I just like yeah. gotta fucking take the time. But yeah. I get paid to talk to people. Yeah. So no one's looking at what me. What does that mean? What do you mean you get nice. paid to talk to people? I don't think she you wants guys to are say it. you guys are digging. I'm like she doesn't want to drill do it. down. <laughs> yeah, nope, 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 nope. She's not gonna say. Either it. way, Scarlett Johansson is that if that's what I'm giving you. You do have well, a great voice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank great you. Voice. I think I think it's we got to do something with it. Yeah. Right? Do so. yeah, We're gonna pay. Yeah, yeah. You get paid a dollar for doing this. Ooh. So at the very least, you're gonna get that. I fucking wow. love it. I yeah. love your voices, honestly. Oh, wow. Everybody gets a dollar. <laughs> yeah, man. You get do a, I get a dollar? You get Are a dollar. It donate? goes to your agent, though. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. You're gonna. Have to we'll so take we 10%. get like <laughs> 20, 26, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with taxes, it's nothing. That's so. right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Any, yeah, any advice you, you want to give the listeners or anything like that? So, advice, honestly, check out Second Street. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> other advice. Uh, other advice. <laughs> Light, um, like a life hack? Life hack, anything. You know what? Live your fucking life, you know? Live it. Yeah. I spent life, you know, not living. Wow. And kind of afraid to be me. And, yeah. and it's really fucking awesome to just wake up and be like... This is me. I'm surprised by that because you seem and very proudly yourself. You seem very, uh, yeah. Yeah. very, so you've good. claimed it. It was yeah. a long time coming. Were you trying uh, to be someone else before? It wasn't that. It was more hey, of Hey, there's just the like baby from before. Hey, baby. Uh, hey, sorry. baby. Sorry, sorry straight. Like, there was a baby that we liked. That was a... Ro- I haven't seen a stroller like that. That's a vintage <laughs> stroller. That first baby's pretty hip. Yeah, that's a cool baby. That is a, a vintage... I love it. I love it. I used to fucking us. roll my baby dolls in that. And that's a fucking yeah. real ass human with a heartbeat. Yeah. Okay, so you've found um, yourself. Yeah, just, you know. Live your life. Yeah, you live your life. You know, everyone goes through shit, you know, and you learn to love yourself through time. But mm. either way, life is a journey. Enjoy it. And I will. everything is temporary and life is always going to be fucking fantastic if you just see life there was, there was like a four a year old way. walking by right as you said fucking fantastic, fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who's like at church and I'm like yes yes fuck <laughs> like oh. alright thank you for talking to us Good it was job, a pleasure to Stray. chat with you wow, Good thank job. you bye bye thank you so much alright we have to Are you, serious? you have to take it right. bye bye donate it do whatever you want Second Street, here we come. <laughs> what do you think she meant by she gets paid for her voice? voice? Yeah, let's get into that. I mean, is it sexual? Is it phone sex? Yeah, but do people but still do people that? People still do phone sex? She, she did have a sultry voice, though. Like I it was know. like it was like. Hmm. Cole, I thought you were hitting on her. Really? Ooh. I mean, I would be a little. 
I don't know if the podcast has a lawyer, but I would. We do actually talk to your legals really? about a harassment suit. Oh, against <laughs> Cole. I thought that I thought oh. that it was harassment. Oh, okay. Do you want to wait, file? Wait, that? wait, which aspect? Uh, I'll file it on her behalf. Okay. okay. Wait, well, when wait. you said uh, you, that her voice was sultry, I thought that was. Oh, ooh. just right now. Yeah. Just wow. Right now. Oh, even though she's not here, and I said. Oh it wait, no. When you said it earlier, here, when she was here, you said it. I think. Yeah. No, I said raspy. I didn't say raspy. Sultry. Yeah, that was even more. I think you said her. Vo- I think you said her voice was and wet. And you said ScarJo, and you said yeah. I, I would, oh. I would, I would love to have sex with ScarJo. Yeah, you oh, said that. Oh, did I say that? You did. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. I just thought that in my head. No, <laughs> you s- uh, that's a problem with the blindfold. Is it really mixes up? Yeah. Yeah, that's not so like good. I can't see what I'm saying. You know? Right. Yeah. 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 Can you just on the record, just to clear things up, can you just let everyone know you wouldn't have sex with ScarJo? Uh, sure. Okay, I I would not have sex with Scarjo because I respect my I respect Colin Jost. Oh, nice. Okay, that is good. That's actually. the reason. That's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess that's a good reason. Bros before Joes. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> or just before Joe's. <laughs> just before Joe's. Just before Joe's. Okay. Just before Joe's. Well, you taking your oh? Took it off. How's it feel? Whoa. Y- you must be so relieved. Yeah. How's it feel? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I did not know it was daytime. This is Rob. Hey, man. This is Cole. How are you doing? Great. Nice are you to meet you. Expected? Uh, is this what you expected? <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> when you had your blindfold on, I couldn't tell what race you were. <laughs> oh. And now I see you're just like a white guy. Oh. He's Jewish. Are you let down a little bit? Or I don't know. Yeah, just you seemed more interesting with the blindfold. Before, I thought it could be any race. Oh, okay. But, but now I see it's pure whiteness. Sure. Oh, I get you. I get you. I get <laughs> there you. you go. I get you. Um, now you're mixed. Was that, uh, how was the experience? I didn't like it. You didn't like it? I did it one time before and I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanted to bring it back and I didn't, I, it gave me more anxiety than. Have you ever been in a float tank? No. I don't, I, like, I I don't like it. To. Pasadena has a yeah. very good float I tank. I It's not for me. I've done it's it twice. It's like sensory deprivation, right? That's right. Yeah. You go into a dark, uh, chamber where you can't see anything and then you're floating in water salt water that is the same temperature right, as, as your, your body, body. Yeah. so it becomes like you're in outer space but you do you like it andrew doesn't like outer space uh i do like it yeah the thing that i don't like about it is that it's physically uncomfortable hmm i didn't find to that. me like the wetness and the stuff the water in your ears and the wa- and the, like the salt kind of burns a little bit yeah 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 like yeah, yeah. i i do i meditate twice a day okay and i i like that yeah. And I've been doing that for a few years. So for me, it just felt like now I feel like I'm being talked down to. No, no, no. Just <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I'm not that great at it. But to me, it you just do it twice a day and you're not great. at I it. I used to do it twice a day and I'm more like once a day now. But I did the class and everything. But to me, it just felt I mean like the class, you know, there's only one meditation. David class. Lynch teaches it. You know, it's his it's his thing. It's at his house. Um, so it so yeah, the float tank is supposed to be like lazy person. Yeah, yeah which I get. Yeah. And, and, it, and it does a better job. It basically is like a, it's a way to trick yourself into getting there quicker. But it was just uncomfortable. I don't know something about the the, the yeah. feeling of well, it. Well, it is a you have to really yeah uh, you know buy into the it, process. It is cool though. I think it is an impressive thing. It's just yeah. for me not something I'm gonna do. I can see how it can be stressful for people yeah. too because yeah. you are just alone. It is. With it your is thoughts. intense. Yeah, yeah, it is an intense experience. Yeah, it's yeah. like this podcast is like third time passing. Third time passing. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. No apologies necessary. Well, Rob. We loved you as a guest. It was so, such a pleasure to have you. Thank you f- so much yeah. for having me on the show. Check out Medical Police. Yeah. It's very easy to watch because it's on Netflix. Yeah, and now it's super like pop. It's like more relevant with the coronavirus. It oh, is. that is Thank true. Thank you right. for tying it into right. yeah. Yeah. current events. Right, <laughs> yeah. that is good. So and so did you guys set that loose? Is that a viral marketing campaign yeah. in the, in the yeah. most yeah. obvious sense? It's viral marketing? It is literally, literally viral, viral marketing. marketing. Yeah. 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 People, the, you know, we were trying to figure out a, like a kind right. of yeah. funny, uh, sure. clever way to do like some street right. marketing. And you started in China. Why we that? We started in China because it ties into the show. Oh. In, in the okay. show, yeah, we yeah. do go to China. Oh. And so it is. Spoiler alert. Yeah, and it is tied into... So, yeah, I mean, it started off as like a cool sure. sort of fun street marketing thing. Now, right. uh, it's kind of got out of control, control yeah, yeah, yeah. where uh, life is literally, literally imitating yeah. art. And, yeah. uh, so it, and we don't know what's going to happen. Right, so. right. Well, so you know, assuming you're still alive, check out the show. Yeah, by the time you hear this, yeah. if humanity still exists, it might mm-hmm. be. I hope you'll watch the show. If humanity does not exist, right. Don't I wouldn't don't even bother. try to watch it. Don't yeah. bother. Yeah. Yeah. It probably won't work. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Rob. Here's a thank dollar you, and a sticker. Thanks, guys. Rob we appreciate Hubel. you being here. And that is Rob Hubel, and that is the show. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your life. See you next week. Okay. Bye bye. 
<laughs> <laughs> what an episode of our show, huh? Yes. That was good. Go check out Rob Hubel's show on Netflix. And check out, um, uh, check out the grocery store. They're <laughs> launching new products tomorrow. Oh, that's great. I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, so check out the launch. And check us out on Instagram and Twitter, Podcast But Outside. Mm-hmm. Patreon. A lot more there. Stickers. You're still here. And this is a dog. And if you don't know what a dog is, look it up, dummy. Easy to know. Read about it. Read a book. Bye. Bye. Objectively, I could only hear it, and it was good. And I feel like most people just tell you that because you're hot, I'm assuming.